Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to 5 Minutes with Phil. We have reached Friday. And so here we are, the end of the work week. And this is also the end of our two-week journey through the book of Philippians. And we're right at the end of the book of, of Philippians. Remember, there's only four chapters in the whole book. And Paul's writing this letter to this church in Philippi. And he has a lot of great things to say. And Philippians 4.19 is where I want us to to look at today and to be blessed and challenged here this morning. So take a look at this with me as I read it. A very popular scripture for a uh, a lot of people. Here's what it says. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory, another translation says. Um, Here here is the source of your provision. Uh, Yesterday we talked about contentment, right? On, On how to be content whether we're in need or we're doing fine, whether we're starving or whether we're well-fed, whether we're poor or rich. So that contentment that we have from God, because we've been talking about having the peace of God that doesn't even make sense, so much of that is related to being content with where we are as we trust in the Lord. But then we have this assurance. Check this out. We have this assurance that God will meet every need that I have. And it's according to his riches, not mine. It's according to his riches, not the United States economy, not your bank account necessarily, not the stock market, not your job, but God is the provider. And I want you to know that God is ultimately the one that is going to provide for you in the midst of your time of need. And you could trust him for that. But can I, can I give you a word of caution today? Uh, as we get more mature in our walk with God, uh, I think he has a great way of uh, separating or helping us to separate what our need is and what our wants are because sometimes those are two totally different planets apart sometimes they don't even resemble each other for example uh uh, maybe your prayer is god i need a car okay god i need a car uh god i need a ferrari and I know some of you are saying amen to that. Uh, that would probably, for 99% of us, be a want when God says, you know what? I've, uh, I've got something that's not quite a Ferrari, but I've got something for you that I want to supply you with. Uh, God, our family needs money. And so, God, I need to become an instant millionaire. Want. See, because here's the thing. God knows what we need more than we do. And he knows that some of us couldn't handle a Ferrari. Some of us couldn't handle becoming a mega rich person. But he does know what we need in order for us to survive. And today, I want to challenge you in knowing the difference between your needs. One preacher used to say the needs and the greeds. (laughs) But what's the difference between what I really need and what I really want? God will supply the need. Sure, God gives us the desires of our hearts sometimes, but at the same time, those things that we need, he's not going to forsake us. He's going to supply. He's going to take care of you. And if you can hang on to that promise, God's going to give you even more peace. All right, thanks for joining me today. We'll see you Monday. Have a great weekend. God bless you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.